All right, so now in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, my new transistor tester. It's an automatic tester, and we're going to take this thing here. So this has a little thing that shuts when you move the lever down to lock the component in place. This plugs into these slots here, and uh, we'll take a closer look at that coming up. In this video, we're just going to measure a couple NPN bipolar junction transistors, the 2N22 and the C1815. So now we're zoomed in and you can see the things that it will test. I wish it also tests Zener diode. I saw somebody else that had one that tested Zener diodes. Uh, that's something I'd look for again if I bought one. But in uh, any case, we're just going to test a couple NPN transistors in this one. So here you can see we got pin numbers. So we got one, two, three, and then three, one, two, three. So this is a three pin component. It also measures two pin components, but you don't want to double up any of these numbers. You only want one pin per either one, two, or three. You don't want a couple of pins with uh, three. So we're just gonna make it simple and put it in the one, two, three, and lock it down into place. So right now you'll see the uh, transistor, the flat side's facing us right now. So we got one pin to one, one pin to two, and one pin to three. So now all we have to do, it's an automatic tester. So all we have to do is hit the button and it uh, says some stuff. But then now it's testing it. And uh, here it's telling us we have here a bipolar junction transistor of the NPN type. And then based on the slots that we put it in, one, two, and three, we have E, B, and C for emitter base collector. It even has the schematic symbol, and again, emitter, pin number one, base two, and pin three is the collector. We have a gain of about 435, and then the forward voltage, the voltage needed to get the base two emitter to conduct, gave us that reading. That's the battery reading of the battery in the unit. And now it's automatically shutting down, as you can see there. So now I swapped out the transistor. This is the C1815. It's also an NPN transistor, as we should see. I actually have not tested this one yet. So we got the uh, three pins at one, two, three again, and we'll hit a test. So even though I said it's also an NPN transistor, so you would kind of think we'll get the same results you're you're not quite right so we got uh, bipolar junction NPN again the gains about the same again the main difference now is the uh, pin layout so you can see one two three is emitter collector base instead of emitter base collector it actually has a different pin layout than the NPN transistor you can see pin number one is the emitter three is the base and two is the collector that's something you got to be aware of when you use it. So it's going to auto shut down again. And the battery again, that's the battery inside this unit. It's a rechargeable lithium ion battery. It's pretty fresh, so it's about 8.5 volts. 